this video, I'll be doing a remote start on a 2013 Kia Optima. Uh, this first part of the video, I'm just going to zoom in on doing the wiring. I'll throw up some wiring information on the screen. Uh, again, this is a 2013 Kia Optima. I am installing a Flash Logic FL CAN with the Avatol 4105L. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not feeling so well. I'm going to try not to talk very much. And uh, like I said, I'm going to zoom in. You can watch the wiring. Uh, I'll also put up the um, information on the screen. What I want to do with this video is simplify the wiring so that it doesn't look so overwhelming. Uh, when you open these, there's wires everywhere. Uh, you don't need every wire, so a lot of the wires get cut out. Anyway, let's get started. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the wiring on the Flash Logic module. So I'm just going to pull up the information on this vehicle on this bypass. On this particular car, there's a couple options. It's push to start or um, standard key. And this particular car has a standard key. So all I'm doing is going in. I'm going to look at the firmware installation manual. So flashlogic.com, you go through the application, vehicle application, and then I am using the FL CAN. So I will be clicking the download on that. Kia okay, Optima 11 to 13, standard key is a type 11. And it covers data immobilizer, secure takeover, door lock, unlock, OEM alarm, disarm, Door status output, trunk status output, also looks like the, the trunk as well. Anyway, it's a Type 11 wiring, so we're going to go all the way down to Type 11. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull out the wires that I need. Alright, actually, you can see on my phone what I'm looking at and I'll be pulling these wires that I need, cutting the rest and just preparing this harness for the actual install will be later in this video or maybe I'll make two separate videos, I don't know alright, so I need gray red green red pink, brown, yellow, brown, red, and then I'm not worried about the trunk status output, so I'm going to get rid of this harness. The three pin yellow wires. <laughs> um, now on the white. These. Okay. Let's see the other side. And there's nothing on this harness that I need. The black harness. So I'm just going to pull that out. So the wires that we're left with are gray red, green red, pink, brown yellow, brown red, white red, white black. So the rest of these I'm going to cut. And just for now I'm going to put them all together, all the wires. Now I'm going to look at where they go, just so I can put them in like areas. So we're going to the driver's kick panel with our 
actually two of them. So the white, black, and the white, red. We'll go with green, red, gray, red. So these four are going to go to the same place in the kick panel. Pink I know is going to ignition, so I'm going to run it to the main brain. Browns are going to go to the junction box, which should be the um, back side of the fuse box. These here. So I'm not going to go too wild with this just because I've got more wires that I'm going to run to the kick panel. The ground wire uh, is going to go to the kick panel for sure. So I'll at least run that with these, uh, these four wires. So this is really all I'm doing for the bypass. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires from the bypass for the 2013 Kia Optimal. All right, so now I'm gonna look up wiring information for the vehicle and work on the harness for the uh, remote start. All right, here we go. So, we know there's a 12 volt constant, starter, ignition one, only one ignition. However, there are two accessories, so, the pink white wire is ignition two, or it can be programmed to be accessory number two. So we'll have to change that when we get in there. All that's left out of this is going to be our parking light wire. I'm going to go ahead and leave the tack wire available just in case. I've had some of these where they don't work right. So I'll just pull it and hold it out to the side. Uh, brake wire. And just so we can see here, I'm going to use the ground parking light. This is a like a neutral safety switch, which can be hooked up to a uh, a switch as a kill switch. I'm gonna keep the tack wire, which is this purple and white wire, and this brown wire, which is the positive brake shutdown. And then the rest of these wires here, I'm gonna cut because we don't need them. And again, I'm going to combine all these and then I'll separate them as for where they go in the vehicle. I've already got two that I can run with four of the other ones from the bypass. Here I'm just going to turn the tack wire up because this is just a just in case situation. So now I'm going to go ahead and combine the remote start and the bypass for the wires that are going to a kick panel. And I'm not going to terminate any wires until I'm actually in the vehicle just because it could be a short
short run, could be a long run, but I just want to show you know how all this can clean up to be a, a pretty good looking jumble of wires. And a lot of times if I do this I'll put a butt connector on it just because if something should happen in the future it's easily accessible and if it has to be hardwired it's not a big deal. So now this is what's going to go in the car. Got a few connections here that go to the ignition switch. You got your parking light wire that goes to the BCM under the dash. You got some wires that go to the kick panel and this goes I believe to the fuse box and I'll show you more of that uh, inside the car. But anyway this is a simplified wiring harness for installing remote start into a 2013 Kia Optima.